everyone, Michelle here with the Traveling Epicurean. Tonight's show is going to be a lot of fun because we are going to the beach. We're going to my friend Maria's beach house. We're going to cook in her kitchen and we've come up with a Mediterranean meal for you. And we've invited some girlfriends over. So it's going to be a really fun night. We're going to have yogurt marinated chicken kebabs, tzatziki sauce, and a Lebanese garlic sauce called tomb. Let's get on over to that beach house. Okay, so we made it to the beach. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. There's a regatta going on too. Hi, Michelle here. I'm finally at the beach house. This is my dear friend Maria. Hello. She's a gourmet cook and you're going to see everything that she's doing here. Right now we're going to put together some tzatziki sauce. Yes. And this is our Mediterranean night. And then we have that chicken that we're going to skewer and get it on the grill. And we have some other friends showing up, right? Yep, a couple more. Gonna be a big night. And then we're going paddle boarding. And then paddle boarding. Oh, I like that. This here is naan over here. And that's green onions. And we're gonna put all red naan green onions. Yes. The naan, I think. What do you think, boys? Is it looking good? And girl. And girl. Sorry, Bella. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what are we calling this? A raspberry linzer tart. I think we should run with this tart before the kids get back. Don't you? Definitely. So it's caramel on the bottom and then custard in the middle. And we'll split it in two. Okay, that sounds great. Now we will have to know. That looks to die for. Well, this is an amazing spread that Maria has put out here. It is incredible. We have that raspberry linzer tart that we were just talking about. She's draining the whole fat yogurt here to take any of the extra moisture out of that. We have naan, we have pita bread, which we'll brush with some oil and that will go on the grill. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And we have our cherry tomatoes, which we're gonna skewer with the red onion. We have our skewers that we wet and soaked so they don't burn on the grill. We have this amazing marinade, this yogurt marinade that the chicken has been marinating for about 24 hours in. Five pounds, almost five pounds of chicken thighs. We have a lot of people, so we've doubled the recipe. But on my website, I'll have it in singular portion. Then we have some spices that we've softened with water. I'll go over those in a minute. And then we have our other bowl, which is the yogurt mixture and all the spices with the lemon and the garlic, and I'm gonna go over that too. Okay, I'm going to add in the softened spices here. It's really nice to soften up the spices like that. Look how beautiful those are. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm just going to mix this all up. It smells absolutely amazing. Okay, there we go. Look how gorgeous that color is. And I'm just going to add in our chicken. I'll coat the chicken. And then I'm just going to throw it in the refrigerator. A good 24 hours marinade. That will be perfect. Look how beautiful. Really, really pretty. We're going to make some tzatziki sauce. She has the dill and the cucumber. Even the lemonade is gorgeous. Look at that, Maria. You're amazing. Some water, lemon, and mint. And we're going to start getting all of this together. And here's our tune that we've already showed you how to make. That's also another one of her wonderful recipes that she's passed on to us. We have a us. really lovely menu with the yogurt marinated chicken thighs. That's with the al pepper sauce. Al pepper pepper. Al pepper pepper. pepper, pepper. Al pepper, pepper. <laughs> I like that. And then we're going to make some tzatziki, which you're going to do right now. Yes, yeah, so I started my yogurt draining because we want, obviously, our tzatziki to be as creamy as possible. And then, while that's, I start the cucumber the same. And I like to go ahead and take out the uh, seeds, cut it in half and take out the seeds. Because that seeds. holds a lot of water, yeah, too, right? Yes. And then I just go ahead and grate it on just a regular grater, kind of like cut it in half. I love that shape grater. Uh, and then you just grate the whole cucumber, right? You can grate the whole cucumber. Uh, you don't have to bother peeling, but you do this first, so then you can take all of the um, grate and put it in a 
and that dish towel there. Dish towel, and I add almost, you know, probably like a half a, a tablespoon. You can even just take out the big parts that you're not able. Now is it just cucumber? And then just cucumber for now, and then I'll throw in a half a tablespoon. So you just basically take it. Use your hands. Chef's best tool. So now you're taking all that cucumber and you're putting it into the dish towel. And I don't really measure, just stick maybe like half a tablespoon into the cucumber. Just wrapping it in I there. just I wrap it and then it just helps absorb all, all the liquids. It's not nice. And I just literally put it right over with the um, yogurt there and just leave it. And then start stirring the chicken. Now, so we are getting there. We are working very hard to bring you this amazing Mediterranean meal. Maria, you are amazing. <laughs> no, the way that you cook, not everybody cooks like this. You know that, right? And you have all these spices, all this. You're a gourmand. You really just do an amazing well, job. Well, I like to eat. Yeah, I know. I do too. So that's why we're doing this. It's really wonderful <laughs> meal. Okay, so this is this, the tzatziki sauce. You're finishing this up. Yes, our yogurt. That's and you can see quite a bit of water. It's probably hard to see, but there's quite a bit of uh, drainage there, which is great. And then look how wet that is. Yeah, from that's... all the water from the cucumber. You want to? I just go ahead and just start putting it all in. It's really easy now. Just. Just assemble it all in one just, bowl. Yeah, at this point it's very easy. If you want to, I just put one cup of clove of minced garlic if you want to sure. try that. Look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. And, and you, you have, have to, to condense that cucumber is. And you too. have to remember not to add more salt in just to taste because yeah. remember that you put the salt to kind of draw, to draw the moisture. Then I just take, a lot of people don't like much dill. Do you like my husband's not a big dill person, so I don't put a whole whole month bunch of yeah, just so I put sweet. the dill in. And then I literally just because it just kind of gives it that little tanginess, just a little champagne vinegar. Add sure. that in. So a few dashes. Yeah, of that. just a few just dashes. A little... And then you have the idea of the cumin. And yeah, I've never I done that, so that. I'm interested to see what that adds to it. It's so. absolutely delicious. That'll be fun. And then just to add a little bit more of the cream in, is some olive oil. I love that spot that you have there. Isn't that no, pretty? Isn't that fun? I love that. And then as I said, don't put any salt in okay. yet because we're going to see how much you ended up in the cucumber. A bit when you were soaking the cucumber, right? right. Okay. But I do pepper. And then you don't rinse it, of course, so there's going to be some leftover residual salt. Okay. And just mix it and all the beauties together there. Oh, I love that. Really and nice. and the biggest part about this is just tasting to your liking. Okay. You know. And we're going to be serving it with the chicken. Okay. And the um, vegetables, which have you know salt on it too, and so sure. it doesn't need to be all that flavorful because we have all the other flavors yeah. going with it. Now sometimes so when you eat going on. yeah when you eat tzatziki by itself with you know, chips, you probably want a lot more flavor. Yeah, but we I don't, don't need that, We right? don't need it in this. You're so right, because everything, the chicken has tons of flavor. The tomb has a ton of flavor. And this is also good if you're doing a lot of dishes, is to do it earlier in the day, because the longer this sits, the better it is. Yeah, it's going to be so, absolutely delicious. So most of the time I do my cucumber and my yogurt overnight. Okay. Leave it in there just like this. You don't even need to cover it. Gotcha. And then I assemble this early in the morning and then as I said the longer it sits the better. Okay. So I'm going to taste it and see if I think it needs more air. Now you can do this in any pattern you want. And I, you know I love the flavors of all of these together. The roasted tomatoes yeah, and the roasted onions. So well. And the um, and you, you uh, soak these didn't you? In I did. I soak them so they don't burn on the grill. Now, did you cook a lot when you were a kid? You have five kids in your family, right? Yeah. They like you have five. Well, you know what? I mainly learned to cook just from having to cook for my kids. Yeah. Because so oh, you have family. five children. Yes. So I didn't really cook that much, but my mother was a, a gourmet chef. Was she really? Yeah. She and she would do all the um, have the neighbors over, and they would do their cooking clubs and.
Oh, how so, fun. Do you cook for our cooking club? Yeah, she would just do, uh, she wasn't a chef, I should say, but she was a gourmet. I mean, she always, we always had, that's okay, wind blowing that. It's like such a gorgeous day. We, uh, well, I, and I think that's a pedal board arriving for after Ooh, we eat. We can get some more help here, yeah, screwing I'm the so two glad you're here. This is our other friend who is joining us tonight for a Mediterranean night. And where do you work? At Paddleworks. You have Paddleworks in Clinton. Yep. You have to remember that because we're going to be paddleboarding tonight, aren't we? Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of afraid to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to take your advice and listen to all your instructions. Yep. And That's I'll be okay, right? Nice. Yep. You'll be fine. We'll get you on a nice, good board. And, and you're going to have a ton of fun. Guide us along. Have you done this before? I did it in Mexico one time. It's hard because there was waves. So, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not too windy we'll out there. <laughs> so, we finished right. scouring. And yes, I just, before I put my vegetables on, I just like to add some of the uh, tom sauce. Well, I like that because that's just the emulsion of the garlic and the olive oil, and that's going to be a really nice coating when we put it on the grill, right? Yeah, and then I just sprinkle with the salt and pepper. Oh, this is what we're going to need for a Lebanese garlic sauce. We're going to need a cup of garlic. We'll need, I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice from these lemons, about a half a cup. We have vegetable oil, salt. And of course, your food processor. So we're gonna get this going. I'm gonna get this garlic into that food processor and we're gonna start pureeing it. This is my favorite way to get the paper off of the garlic cloves. I use a mallet, I put it in a Ziploc baggie, and I just hit it a few times. This is just simple and quick and easy. Look, some of them, the paper is already off. Very simple. So I'm going to go through and get the, all the paper off of the rest of these cloves and then we're going to make our tomb, our Lebanese garlic sauce, which is so incredibly good. You can use it for everything. You can use it for sautéing vegetables, mushrooms, you can baste it on your barbecue. We're going to start with our tomb, our Lebanese garlic sauce. I'm so happy that Maria turned me on to this garlic sauce. It's amazing it's absolutely amazing and wait to see the texture that it takes um, when we start pureeing this so first we're going to put the garlic in here we're going to give it a few pulses and then we're going to scrape it down with our spatula and then we're going to slowly drizzle in the vegetable oil what it is is an emulsion of vegetable oil and garlic and it gets nice and foamy and thick it's absolutely delicious all right, so let's start pulsing this. All right, you can hear it and all the garlic's kind of in the center and it needs a little bit of a scoop because a lot of the garlic got stuck to the sides. So we'll scrape it down with the spatula. And now we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna slowly, you have to drizzle this in really, really slowly. All right, here it goes. And then we're gonna alternate. We'll do a little bit of the lemon juice and then back to the vegetable oil and then the lemon juice and then the vegetable oil. So I'm stopping it to just scrape down the sides a little bit because it's becoming a, a nice fine mash in the center but there's still some larger pieces on the side and now I'm gonna get it going again. This way, it has all the same consistency, and it makes this foamy, thick garlic sauce. Right. I'm going to add in a few, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and then we're going to go back to the vegetable, vegetable oil. And the lemon juice, also whitens up the sauce. It bro really brightens it up. Look at the volume of this Lebanese garlic sauce. It has quadruple. And I started putting in three teaspoons of lemon juice. As soon as I got past the one cup mark of, the, um, of pouring in the vegetable oil. We're almost done here. And it's looking really beautiful. I've spent about 
12 minutes drizzling in this vegetable oil though. You really have to be patient, but it's so worth it. I did it. Look how beautiful and thick this sauce is. is. That's a great idea. Just you kind of gives it the, so it doesn't stick and... And the flavor is... Flavor. Oh, that's fantastic. It's going to roast on the grill and the neighbors will be knocking on your door saying, I don't know what you eat too. They smell the garlic. <laughs> Where did you find this? The tomb? Yeah, the rest of Oh, I had it at a Lebanese restaurant in California and I never knew what it was and then I just kept trying to perfect it and one day I did. I well, got it. I'm so glad that you did because that's my new favorite sauce and that's my new favorite marinade also. <laughs> I love both of these. All right, so let's get on over to the grill. Oh, yeah. That looks so beautiful. So you're taking all the food down the grill? Yep, we're going down the grill. Okay. What if I photobomb you? You're going to photobomb me? Oh my goodness. That would be kind of fun. Are you boys having a good time? Yeah. 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 This table is looking so beautiful. We have our non bread and pita. We're going to put that on the grill with the tomatoes, the skewered onions and tomatoes. We have our lemonade. And the kids are outside playing on the beach. What a beautiful day. Jess and Rob, nice to meet you, Rob. Well, nice to meet you. Cheers. But that one is bamboo, so it's a little bit lighter weight. It's a little bit more durable than the composite ones. Yeah. And it's prettier. It's <laughs> a board we personally own. That's the exact board we own. Yeah. How much is that one? That one is um, Did you get the $1,400 board. Wow. That, one's, that one's a 14 I love how you have this set up here. Now, did you guys put all the logs here? We did. And so you dragged them on the beach? We, we dragged it. Oh my gosh. From, uh, yeah, it took, we were, we were getting strangers to come over and help <laughs> us drag this thing over. It was brilliant. It is a brilliant idea. It was a communal effort. And they're so happy to help, right? Well, they were, but they were looking for beer, I think. <laughs> they were looking for the reward from dragging the logs. The driftwood, the giant driftwood. That looks beautiful, Nick. This is Maria's husband, Nick. And Hello. he's our grill man for tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm pinch hitting for the 19-year-old who should be back soon. <laughs> for Cameron. Cameron's picking up Bella from her tennis match. What a good boy he is. That's so wonderful that he's doing that. So do you want me to talk about my uh, grilling techniques? Sure. How I what just, do you have uh, for grilling techniques? Well, what Cameron? I do is just uh, sort of uh, throw them on there and let them cook. There you go. That's the uh, that's the that's the technique. This is my boss. It's gonna snap, guys. Pa pa pa. You wanna play? You wanna play? Francis, but I love that. I know. I always like this. You are so cool. Kevin, you can grab a plate off the table there. Good stuff. Franks, that's way too much food that you can't eat all that. Yeah. No. Or Remy, be mindful. Okay, I hate waste. Do you need help? And all the empty plates. I know, do all the empty plates, and I'll show a little bit of. And there's Bella grabbing some more steak. Everything looks so gorgeous. Really nice, and it's going fast. And here's our wonderful tzatziki sauce. Or is it on right now? It's on right now. Yeah. But I'll delete yeah. all this other oh, stuff. Yeah, there's improv. What do you say? What do you say? Not with your pants. Ch chin chip? Chin-chin. 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 Ch